Hey guys, it's Hogan here and I'm really excited for this video because I don't see many people actually sharing this with you guys. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to figure out how many sales a Shopify store is actually making, what products they're selling, you know, what are their most popular products. So this is uh, an Australian brand called The Udi and the founder, which is an Australian guy from Adelaide, he's really successful here, who also has a YouTube channel called Davey Fugati. You can go to his website, The Udi. And with this plugin over here, it's a Chrome extension called Ali Hunter. So you can download this onto your Chrome and use it. So set it up. And once you do, you can go to any Shopify store and it's gonna show you the sales. So click on the live sales over here and it's gonna show you exactly what they're selling and how long ago as well. So as you can see, it's making sales every single second. I know it's sort of hard to believe, but they are making around, I think 750, thousand to a million dollars Australian dollars every single day um, that's from the founder himself he's also got like the screenshot and things like that and you can also sort of verify it if you just go to a Shopify store that you normally shop from and you can actually try it and purchase and then you'll see your product pop up over here right so from my experience it's fairly accurate now this is a really amazing tool that no one has um, shown on YouTube because you can actually figure out what is the best selling product. So let's say if you want to start a drop shipping store or if you want to start an e-commerce brand, sometimes if you want to create an e-commerce brand, the minimum order quantity is quite high and you can't just start off with like dozens of different product lines. It's going to be too hard if you're just starting out. With this tool, you can sort of figure out what is the best selling especially if you have like different variations as well, you wanna know which are the most popular colors that you should start off with. So this is a really amazing tool. You can also go to their products as well to see you know, when was the last sale. Um, this is another website uh, called Loom Deodorant and you can see they're making sales every single second as well. So you can also sort of verify by going to their Facebook page. So normally if you go to their Facebook page, their homepage, scroll down, and on the left hand side, there's page transparency. So click on see all and then scroll down and go to ads from this page and then go to the ad library. So this is a really great sort of tool and where you can actually check out to see what ad creative that you sort of need to create um, in order for you to sort of advertise and be successful. Um, you're able to sort of reverse engineer success. So this is really amazing because you can really figure out uh, you know, what type of ads that you need to create. You can also click on uh, shop now and it's gonna go link to that specific page. So sometimes uh, you may not actually see anything over here because you have to select uh, the specific country. Um, normally I just select all, so you can go to all, okay? And then go to the all ads, all right? And then put in the brand, so the Udi, and then click on enter. Sometimes there is multiple brands, so you might need to actually select the right one. So I'm just gonna click on enter and let's have a look. So over here, they have over a thousand different ad creatives running. So you can actually see that the reason why they're actually able to do so many sales like per, um, per second, right? You can see all the creatives. Um, and one of the reasons why they're so successful in my opinion is that they're able to appeal to such a wide audience, right? They're able to appeal to kids, to teenagers, to you know couples, to older people, any sort of demographic as well. Um, it's a really simple product. Everyone is at home and things like that. And this can give you so many different ideas. Like you don't have to like copy them exactly, but this can give you inspiration for, or ideas for your own thing. Perhaps, perhaps if, you know, travel is gonna start opening up next year, then perhaps you could do something that is related to travel, right? So you can also go to uh, other websites, for example, this one over here. So this is just like a simple sort of drop shipping store that I came across uh, by scrolling TikTok. And you can actually just go to TikTok and scroll and then click on some sponsored ads. And you can actually see that they're actually making sales. If you can go to live sales, um, they've made a few sales um, in the last day or two. So over here, 21 hours, eight hours ago. So they've actually probably made a little bit more maybe. Um, the reason why it's only showing two is that because they only have a few products, right? And they're actually not even running any Facebook ads uh, from what I've seen over here. So it's not running any ads. The only running uh, TikTok ads by using this video over here um, of a model. Okay, so this is an Instagram model. I think she has like 1.6 million followers. So I think they got a video and essentially she made this video and then they're just running this on TikTok and they're making sales, right? So this can give you confidence to start your e-commerce store or your brand. It's just so amazing because 
you can just like use it and you know no no one is actually talking about it this is another store over here is running a tiktok ad as well for these earphones um and they've made a really good tiktok ad where they're showing the sort of earphone in the water and how it's waterproof and they're comparing it to other more expensive brands as you can see they're not selling for too expensive so besides actually seeing their recent sales you can also click into find supplier so you'll be able to click on find supplier and that's actually running on the background. You can also go back over here. You can also click on the apps used so you can see which apps they're using for the Shopify store. Let's go back over here. Let's see if they found the supplier. Okay, so let's just see this one over here. We can click into that. So sometimes it may not be 100% accurate, um, but it's gonna link you to the exact same product. So you can also go to the sort of Ali Hunter website as well. So let's just go to the Ali Hunter website. So just go to alihunter.io and click into that. And from here, you can actually easily browse the top trending products and you can click into the trending product and you can actually search which store is actually selling it on their store. So let's just say, for example, let's try and find something cool, maybe bags. So let's just scroll down. Okay, so these ones, all products best selling. Let's scroll down. So this is not too interesting. Maybe men's bags. Let's have a look. So let's just say this one over here and let's click into that. So over here, we can click on, first of all, you can click on the product details, the buy reviews, which is also really good as well, because with the buy reviews, it shows what's good and what's bad. So if you're creating your own e-commerce product or your dropshipping store, you're able to see what improvements you can actually make to your products, right? So we can also click on similar as well. So this can give you a sort of a bird's eye view on uh, what other stores are also selling this product and you can see the pricing. So sometimes if it's like a top selling product, the pricing might be actually higher than a similar product because sometimes if people like other suppliers are selling the same product, they wanna make it cheaper so that so for example, this one over here, they wanna make it cheaper so that people can start buying their one and then build up their reviews and reputation as well. So you're able to source uh, the cheapest product. So if you click into that one over there, that's gonna load up. You can also go to who sells on Shopify. So you can click into that and that's gonna basically see which stores are actually connecting it to this exact product. So you can go to that store and then you can go and check out how many sales they're actually making. You can go to their Facebook page and you can check out basically uh, what ads they're actually running as well. And then you can create a similar creative. So it's a really, really amazing tool. If you actually go to the AliExpress website, so this is the AliExpress website. Let's go to the homepage. So let's go and find a product. Maybe let's just do phones and telecommunications. Let's close that one. Oops, over here, iPhone. And let's say if we click into this product over here, it's also going to add this download button, right? So you're able to easily download their product images. You can also download the individual product images as well. Um, scrolling down over here, you'll also see the sales analytics uh, for the last 30 days or 90 days. It all is displayed on the same page. So you don't have to go to like the drop shipping center or anything like that. And yeah, it's just really amazing. Um, you can go to who's selling this product and it's gonna analyze it. So once it's finished analyzing, you can select the websites that actually sell it and click onto it and see exactly how they are selling it. Um, see if they're running any Facebook ads or anything like that. Go to the live sales, um, see which apps they're using and basically reverse engineer success. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, hopefully I can make a longer sort of tutorial to show you guys um, some more advanced sort of product research techniques. Uh, yeah, so see you guys in the next video.